Hey folks, how's it going? Joe's Neon here. Hey, uh, I thought I'd show you some new shelters that I recently purchased and um, just share them with you. This is not a gear review. I'm not going to go through every ounce, every inch, every height, weight, all of that stuff. I'll give you approximates. You know, if you would like to know more about that information, you can contact the manufacturer. Um, yes, you are going to hear traffic. I am in front of my house. It was just a nice afternoon. I thought I'd use the front yard and share some of this equipment with you. Now, you folks have already seen this chair, okay? And you had questions about this chair. This chair is made by a company called No2. All right, where did I purchase it? I purchased it online through eBay. I had it delivered to the house for about, oh, uh, under 40 bucks, just under 40 bucks. What's nice about this chair, it weighs a little bit more, but it has adjustable legs. You can raise them up, you can shorten them, and I really like that because if I want to sit in my chair in my new shelter, I can just shorten the legs and I'm styling. So anyhow, let's go over my new shelter here. This is brand new by a company called Big Agnes out of Steamboat Springs, Colorado. This particular model here is called the Whetstone Small very unique shelter that they recently came up with. What it basically is, is a clamshell. It has two poles with a footprint. Okay, a waterproof footprint. This is a great shelter for just having with you in case of rain, in case of a shower, if you're on the beach. Ideal. If you are in a sunny situation, you want to get out of the sun, you want to get out of the rain, you, you want to get out of the drizzle, or maybe you want to use this as a primary shelter for camping. Now, this is 106 inches long. I, I wasn't going to give you details. By 77 inches deep, and it offers you a lot of shelter. It's very unique inside. You have... Um, gear nets, okay, you have aluminum poles, you've got a bunch of tie outs on the inside for hanging things, okay, very well outfitted. Now I want to show you some really other cool features about this particular shelter. It's really neat, um, basically all you do, if you want to change the, the the way the structure of this sets up, all you got to do is change a stake. Let me show you that. So we'll come around to the back here and we'll pull this stake out and we will stake, unstake that, we'll stake the floor. Now, if you just Go ahead, let me take you back inside. All right, I'll take you back inside here. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and release this strap. And I'm going to raise it up. Now, you see this whole thing is starting to turn into a fly or a tent or an awning. Now, I've got this strap over here. And all I have to do is just pull down on that. Tighten this one up a little bit. Check it out. I got myself a tent. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself the Stan Sport bug net. And I'm going to hang it from here. And it's going to cover my entire sleeping pad, my, my sleeping bag and everything. Thank you, Joe. Wilderness Rocks. If you don't know Wilderness Rocks, you better go check out Joe and Missy and Axel at Wilderness Rocks. They're awesome. Joe, check the shelter out, brother. Very, very cool. And, you know, say I got, maybe I got some bad weather coming from this direction. No problem whatsoever. All I got to do is release this 
this strap right here. Oh. Boom, bring that clamshell down and just tighten her up. Boom, I'm good. Totally protected. Okay, bad weather is coming from this direction. What am I gonna do? I'm all right. I'm just gonna drop it like that. Tighten this end down. I'm good to go. So yeah, folks, this is the Big Agnes um, Whetstone Small. The large is pretty big, it's pretty cool, but um, I just thought, man, what a cool shelter to have. Um, you know, in an ultralight situation, I think it's sufficient. With a bug net, I think you would be fine. Um, but for my kayak trips, this is going to be so cool. This is going to be my outpost. This is going to be my outpost. So I'm going to have my, uh, either my shelter that I'm about to show you or my hammock and this little uh, really cool lean-to that I'm really going to enjoy from Big Agnes. Thank you, Big Agnes. This is an awesome idea. Um, you've you, you followed a lot of folks' thoughts, obviously, and I think you pretty much nailed it. I'm gonna give you a little walk around, folks. Again, it's a two pole. It's fully sleeved. These sleeves are serious. This thing can take some serious beating. Big time. So again, I'm gonna release it and I can do it from the outside, all right? I can run around to this side. All right, folks. And of course, you can guide it out. You can guide these lines out. But let me show you another crazy option about this structure. Take that, pull that down. I'll come back here. I'll secure the back down to the ground. Say things are really gnarly at night and you don't want to deal with the weather. You can take right here and take this end of the, the floor up. Pull it right up. And there's actual tie outs here okay let me just show you here quick little toggles oh. didn't want to stay so you've got actual tie outs here come on now they make them so damn tiny the toggles Okay, which enables you to actually close the structure. Whoop! <laughs> I'd probably end up using a stick, but that's okay. Let me just. <laughs> you see, I'm struggling with this, huh? Okay. So that you can actually put a door up if you wanted to or if you needed to, you know? And then you have pretty much, you know, an enclosed tent. So Big Agnes, way to go. This is just a really super cool structure. There's many uses for it, many applications. Um, this was not, this was not given to me by Big Agnes. Uh, but I just wanted to support them and support their products. I had a issue with a piece of gear recently and Big Agnes was more than happy to take care of me. So thank you Big Agnes and thanks a lot folks. Um, and I'm going to move on to another piece of gear to show you folks. At this point I really want to give a special thanks to my buddy 
Crag Dweller. Check his channel out, C-R-A-G-D-W-E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. Craig, thanks, buddy. Um, I'm really digging this tent. Folks, check it out. This is the Six Moon Designs Luna Solo. Sill nylon tent. Single wall. Weighs 2.1 pounds. I leave my guy outlines on it so that adds a couple ounces. Did you hear me? It adds a couple ounces. I don't pay any attention to that. I appreciate the quality of these products. I watch videos on YouTube for a reason. I watch them to educate myself. I know what I need. Tell me what I need. And I've watched plenty of videos on this equipment. And I'm digging it. This tent here is a solo tent. But I got to say, it's about a one and three quarter person's tent. This puppy's got a lot of room. It's a very, very nice tent. You got a very nice spacious vestibule. I've got one door open. When these doors are closed, you've got plenty of room for a pack, for your boots, whatever you need. I like this a lot that it doesn't go to the ground. You get this nice ventilation, this airflow through here. All right, let's go to the interior. You got a nice big deer D door, okay? And these little tiny, little tiny zippers to keep this thing ultra light. And these zippers work like a dream. You know, my other tents, they give me a hard time. My zippers will get caught up. What you have here in the front of the tent is just one big fine mesh front. So when this vestibule door is open, all you have is a massive bay window. And I really, really like that about this tent. Like I said, last Saturday night, I was in this tent and I took an ass beating. I took a real ass beating. The rain come down like you have no idea and I was totally dry. Here's what you got on the inside, okay folks? You've got yourself a four inch deep bathtub floor, totally waterproof, that's held up it's suspended, check this out, by bungee cords. See how the floor is turned into a boat? See that? Can you see that? That's ingenious. All right, so basically what I have is I have a bathtub floor that's lifted. And then all the way around that, I've got this wonderful four inch mesh. Look at that, all the way around the tent. So that creates an incredible amount of ventilation. Why? Because in colder weather, a single wall tent is gonna condensate. You're gonna get a lot of condensation in here. If you're in here and it's cold, just bring your pack towel. It's not gonna rain on you, maybe it will but it's a chance you take when you go super ultralight. You can see all the way around. See that bungee cord? There's a bungee cord right there, see that? Just holds that bathtub floor up, just so nice. Beautiful ventilation, now check this out. Right here on the peak, got a nice ventilated hood. Waterproof, ventilated hood. Okay, this, this, this is a real beauty, this tent here. I'm digging it. I mean, packed up, you laugh. Hey, Craig, check it out, buddy. There's the old pole bow, the pole bow that we're talking about. Craig said to me, you know, if you buy the pole that they say goes with the tent and you get it pitched perfect, it's got this bow in it. Well, yeah, it does, bud. And you know what? I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> so anyhow, folks, there it is. The Six Moon Designs. Solar or lunar lunar solo and I'm digging it now I wanted to show you something here with my tie outs it's got tie outs to give you a little more headroom and it definitely does definitely works I've got some 1.9 to 
to uh, 2.0 millimeter um, line on here. All right, but I'm using this product by Night Eyes called the Cam Jam Cord Tightener. Check them out by Night Eyes. Look at these little puppies. See how small they are? All right, so what I did is I took and I clipped that right to the guide, the, the tie out on the tent. And all you do is you pull the line out of the cam and it loosens. You tighten the line and pop it in the can and it tightens. And then just slide it wherever you want. You got to loosen it, you can loosen it. They're so cool. And then you take up your access. And I've got a lot of line here because that will enable me to tie out maybe to a tree, a sapling, anything within distance, you know. This stuff is so small, so light. Take extra. There's probably, I probably got about 15 foot, you know. So anyhow, yeah, the Cam Jam by Night Eyes. They're really cool. And then all I did here on the other end is I just tied a loop. And I just take my my stake, stick it in, and then I just use the cam jam whoop, for the adjustment. How slick is that? Yeah, folks. So anyhow, there you go. There's a little walkthrough of um, a couple shelters I'm going to be using here in the real near future. I'm going to be having a lot of fun with them. I got a great trip planned here in another week. I'm going to be paddling 40 miles from Upper Saranac down to Lower Saranac in the kayaks. I'm going to be shooting a lot of video on that. So stick with me, folks. More coming.